Hello, St. James. Welcome to What's Happening at St. James for the week ending March 21st, 2021. I'm Tommy Shaw, your Director of Communications for St. James United Methodist Church. Now let's take a moment and see what's happening here at St. James for this week. Today, we're filming outside in our new retreat garden in Pergola. This area is still under construction and will be finished in the upcoming weeks for all of you to enjoy. We would like to take this time and thank the volunteers who have helped with the design, the construction, the moving of the rocks, the pulling of the weeds, and most importantly, all the financial donations. All of your help have made this garden possible. Again, we'd like to thank you for all of your efforts in making this garden possible. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is our 2021 flower calendar. Do you enjoy seeing flowers in our worship spaces, either in the sanctuary or the CLMC? Flowers are a vital part of our worship services. If you'd like to place flowers in one of our worship spaces, the 2021 flower calendar has many dates available. The worship support team, or what used to be called the altar guild, which manages the floral decorations for Advent, Christmas, Lent, and Easter has taken many dates, but there's still quite a few dates open later in the year. So if you would like to take a Sunday, just come to the church, look at the calendar, or you can give the church a call and we'll be glad to put your name on it. Besides the honorary and memorial gifts, flowers can be placed on the altar for special occasions. Arrangements can be ordered from Jefferson's florist at a special price of $100, but you have to ask for the discount. To place the flowers in the sanctuary again, please call the church office at 252-752-6154 and we'll be glad to put your name down for whatever Sunday you'd like. Now I'd like to talk to you about the St. James Book Club. They will meet via Zoom on Sunday, March 21st at 5 p.m to discuss Becoming by Michelle Obama. This memoir of her childhood, school, first jobs, and of her family life tells of her life from a young girl growing up in an upstairs apartment of her aunt's building to her life and to becoming the First Lady of the United States of America. The club usually meets on the third Sunday of each month via Zoom. For more information, contact June Parker at jdparker48 at hotmail.com or visit our website at www.stjconnect.org. Next, I'd like to talk to you about the Truth Seeker Sunday School class that meets on Friday mornings and will start again on March 19th at 10 a.m. The focus of the class study will be N.T. Wright's The New Testament You Never Knew. The video-based series, The Discovery That God Indeed Keeps His Promises, but those promises don't always look like what people expected. Join well-known Bible scholars, N.T. Wright and Michael F. Berg, as they team up to take us on a tour of the story behind the Bible and of the New Testament. The class is restarting this study since the pandemic interrupted it halfway through last winter. The class will cover two sessions in each of the first two classes to review and let others join in and get caught up from the beginning. Truth Seekers is led by Lynn Garrison. For more information, please contact her at Lynn, and that's L-Y-N-N-E, Garrison, at gmail.com, or again, visit stjconnect.org for more information. Here's something that's very near and dear to my heart. Do you enjoy our virtual services as much as I do? If you do, we need your help. Here at St. James, our virtual services will continue until the near future. We need more folks to participate in the pre-produced worship services. Please consider volunteering to present a video of you or your family reciting a prayer or giving the welcome. It's very simple. Take a video with your phone of you alone or in unison with you and your family members reciting the Lord's Prayer or the Apostles' Creed. Or if you simply, you can just say, welcome to St. James. And you can also, if you'd like to recite a Psalm or a Bible verse, and you can also light a candle in your video if you'd like. And once you're done, 
in recording your message, you can send it to Tim Messina at tim at stjconnect.org. For planning purposes, please contact Chris Garcia at chris at stjconnect.org and let him know what part of the worship service you have recorded. The last event I'd like to talk with you about today is the children's ministry team. They will be hosting a park cleanup on Saturday, March 13th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Thomas Foreman Park. The park is located at 400 Nash Street here in Greenville. Everyone at St. James is invited to join in. Please sign up by March 10th so that we'll have adequate supplies. We'll have trash bags, disposable gloves, available for children as well as adults. Feel free to bring your own water and trash picker. Everyone must wear a mask during this event. For more information, please contact Daywon Goldenbaum Yang at Daywon, and that's D-A-E-W-O-N at stjconnect.org. Or again, you can visit our website at www.stjconnect.org. I would also like to take this time to welcome our newest members of St. James United Methodist Church, the Thorne family. Justin, Lauren, Davis, and Bethany joined our church family this past Sunday during our 9 a.m. service in the CLMC. This Sunday, we'll welcome Michael Blackman as our newest member at St. James United Methodist Church. We'll welcome Michael into our membership at 9 a.m. in the CLMC. If you see the Thorns or Michael, please take a moment and welcome them into our family. Thank you for watching this week's What's Happening at St. James United Methodist Church. This Sunday, Pastor Garrett will be preaching from John 3, 9 through 21. Please keep these words in your prayers, thoughts, and daily devotions as we prepare our hearts and minds for worship this Sunday. If you should have any questions about any of the events that we talked about today, please feel free to contact me here at the church at 252-752-6154 or email me at tommy at stjconnect.org. I thank you for watching today and I encourage each of you to go out into the world and show the love that our risen Lord and Savior has shown for all of us. Thank you.